children with life-threatening medical conditions, families under tremendous stress because they are powerless to save their children, and a medical system unable to provide the high-level medical care that will put an end to that misery. Sadly, this is the reality in so many countries. But we have means to change that outcome for seriously ill children, and it's quite simple. A donation to the Herbie Fund and its partnership with the Hospital for Sick Children. Tonight, we begin our annual five-part series in support of the Herbie Fund. You'll meet kids from Mongolia, Poland, and the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines! It is an unfortunate reality that the Philippines does not have anything remotely close to the kind of health care system we have in Canada. Here in Manila, the greater Manila area, the population is about 27 million of that number. About 20 million are living below the poverty line. So if you're one of those people and you have a child requiring high-level medical care, what do you think your chances are? Many people, children here in Philippines cannot afford this kind of procedures. That's why we're very thankful that Herbie is here to help us. We're shy. Yeah. Richard Galak's family knew throughout his young life that something was very wrong. There are times that uh, he feels chest pain and he feels that his yeah. heart beats fast. Yeah. It took three visits to the doctor, which cost them most of their savings to learn that Richard had a large hole in his heart. The ASD of Richard King is quite big. There's a certain extent that the heart muscle can accommodate blood, but when it is beyond its capacity, it eventually it goes into heart failure. You're talking about death. Yes. Did you ever think at some point, I'm going to lose him? Yes. I'm, I'm his father, and I cannot uh, help. We found out that uh, he was a candidate for the Herbie Fund, and his case was approved. See you in Canada. That's a big relief. In many countries, including the Philippines, when a child is brought to hospital with a life-threatening illness, and if they are poor, and doctors don't possess the required skills, the family is told to simply pray for a miracle. He, the Philippines being a Catholic country, they always say, leave it to God. Father Jojo Aguas, a very popular priest in Manila, invited us to his church to explore faith and Herbie. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. God is most manifest in people who show compassion, who show love, who show mercy, who are generous. And what Herbie Fund is doing, that's divine providence par excellence. We're on our way to Quezon City where we're going to meet four-year-old Casey Celestiano. Two years ago, she had heart surgery at Sick Kids Hospital because of your donations to the Herbie Fund. And we spoke to her mom yesterday, and she says, Casey's become a little dynamo. We're anxious to meet her. Casey Anda. Instead of being a listless child with a life-threatening heart condition, she is, as you can see, a little ball of energy. And I suspect we'll be able to do this all day long, a lot longer than I could. <laughs> Casey is a healthy four-year-old now, but her mother is still haunted by the memory of being told that her two-year-old daughter had a life-threatening heart condition. And I'm always praying to God that, please, just give me my daughter for, I want to spend more time with her. I want to see her grow. When you told the doctors at the Philippine Heart Center, that you didn't have the money for surgery. They told me that they don't have funds, so they will first have surgery to those who have money. So what do you do? Where do you turn when you have a child with a life-threatening medical condition? In the first world, we have options and high-level treatment. But in the third world, if you have no money and no access to that high-level medical treatment, you're out of luck. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello, Cyril. How are you? Cyril Dean Marquez and his family have been praying and hoping for four years now that the hole in his heart would somehow heal itself. It didn't happen. I got you now. They needed a miracle, and they got it. Hello. Hello, Canada. <laughs> Your donations to the Herbie Fund mean that the little guys coming to Canada are life-saving surgery at Sick Kids Hospital. One of the consistencies we find with Herbie children, the look and the condition. The look is deceiving because you look at them and think, 
nothing wrong with this little fellow, but he has VSD, ventricle septal defect, meaning his heart is failing. So that's the condition. It's deadly. He needs an operation, an urgent operation. But uh, the problem is we don't have the money for that operation. So here's how frustrating the situation is for Cyril Dean's family. They know they're going to have to raise a minimum of $50,000 for the surgery, the impossible dream, but they start saving anyway. In the meantime, the little fella continually is getting sick, at times developing pneumonia. Each time, they have to take him back to the hospital, spend everything they've saved just to keep him going, and start all over again. His heart is working over time just to pump blood. His lungs is flooded. We need to do the surgery. If not, eventually, he's going to die. The Herbie Fund covers the medical costs of saving these children, but there's another hugely important ingredient, their day-to-day -day care. While the families are here in Canada, that is the job of the host families, and you're going to meet these compassionate people tomorrow night. If you can, please consider making a donation to the Herbie Fund. The information's on your screen. You can also send in a donation to our website. Just go citynews.ca slash Herbie. And please join us Friday in Young Dundas Square for the all-day fundraiser. It's a day of fun for a great cause. Join us live, Young Dundas Square, for City Herbie Day. Friday, June 21st, coverage begins on BT. Herbie Day in partnership with Delta Airlines, KLM, Air France, and Alitalia.